In today's video, we are going to cover adjusting the central heating set point when the velocity boiler works condensing line. When the boiler is first energized, we will be greeted by the boiler's home screen. Boiler's home screen is going to say boiler or slash combi if it's combi at the top. Current supply temperature, firing rate, the heating demand, whether it's responding to a call for central heat or domestic hot water. Energy save on, going to let us know that the outdoor sensor is hooked up and it's looking for it. And max efficiency on will come and go. That will only be present when the return water temperature is under 130 degrees. So to get into adjust the central heating set points, we're going to press adjust. When the adjust button is pressed, it'll bring you to this screen. It'll inform you improper settings, service, create a risk of property damage, injury, or death. Meaning if we adjust it outside the recommended settings, we could have some weird problems. We're going to press adjust. Press that, we're greeted by the login menu. Uh, to get into the adjustment mode, we're going to have to enter a password. To do that, we will press login. Once we press login, five zeros will show up and it'll ask us to enter the password. We press the five zeros, keyboard shows up, and the passcode to get in, password to get in, is going to be 86. 86 will allow you to enter any of our condensing products. Same password across all of the product lines. You do 86 and then enter. And then we're asked to press save store the password and then we press adjust and once we press adjust it'll bring us into our adjustment menus there are four adjustment menus in this video we're only going to see two of them this would be the screen you originally agreed it with system setup modulation setup pump setup and contractor setup we're going to press the arrow and move over to the second set of menus here, it'll have magnet control, auxiliary heat, central heat, and outdoor reset central heat. We're going to press central heat. When that's done, it'll bring you to this screen. The factory set point is going to be 180 degrees on all of our condensing products, and it can be adjusted up to 190 and as low as 60. To make the adjustments, we would press the up and down arrows. If there's a line above it or it's flashing, the setting has not been saved. In order to save and store the setting, we have to press the check button. Once the check button is pressed, the line will disappear and that is now stored. The new set point for this boiler is 170 degrees. Our diff above is when the burner will turn off. Our set points. 170, the burner will turn off at 180, 10, 10, 10 degrees above 170. Our dip below is when the burner will turn back on. It turns off at 180, five degrees below 170 is 165. The burner will turn back on at 165. Next menu in here is going to be our response time. And this is going to be how quickly the boiler starts to modulate. If we turn it down to one, the boiler's not gonna modulate very quickly. Um, it'll stay in low fire or high fire. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna react to the system very, very quickly. We move it all the way up to five, it's gonna react really, really quickly. Uh, we may wind up overshooting our set, our set points. Um, three seems to be the best setting for it, and that is where it is left at the factory. Um, you can play with it as you, as you need or as you feel. Uh, the three is primarily the best setting for it. Our low fire hold time. Now this is going to be a very important setting. Um, low fire hold allows the boiler to see what's going on in the system before releasing and ramping up the burner. Uh, if it ramps up too, too quickly, it can result in short cycling. Um, we really 
don't want these units of short cycling. Short cycle causes early component failure, makes them less efficient. Now, uh, so this is this is it adjustable from zero to three minutes, and uh, we can adjust that, and it'll hold the boiler in, in this lowest firing rate to see what's going on. As soon as it's done, it will release and go to where it needs to where it needs to be. The last menu in here is going to be our modulation sensor. Out of the box, it's going to be looking for the supply sensor. There is an optional header sensor that can be installed on the boiler where it would monitor the header temperature and it would modulate off of the header temperature. If you're doing multiple boilers, and that would be covered in another video, uh, the header sensor is required. Thank you for viewing. You can follow us on Facebook, velocityboilerworks.com, and our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.